welcome to today and welcome to today's video. I am in the girls' shared room right now. I don't think I have shown this yet, but we have officially two girls who share a room um, because we only have three bedrooms in this house, our primary, and then these two kid rooms. And uh, this is the bigger room. It was Nova's originally, and now the girls share it. And then we have the nursery already started because, if you can see, <laughs> I have a baby growing. I am just shy, like a couple days shy of 29 weeks pregnant, which blows my mind. <laughs> like, it's blowing my mind. It's like both going really fast and also really slow at the same time. It's time is crazy when you're a parent it's just the weirdest thing but anyways i wanted to show you kind of the updates that we did um to have the girls rooms be a shared room so we used to have that like wooden house bed for nova that was super cute but we ended up selling it on facebook marketplace so we could get these two beds so we just got these simple twin beds um and they were just on amazon so Pretty reasonable and yeah now the girls share rooms they have their matching cute duvet covers and we just kept like the same decor um, that I've had to switch things around they've got their little table here Nova got this Yoda player for her birthday she turned five just uh, like a week and a half ago I cannot believe that Nova is five it's just crazy to me to think that five years have gone by since that amazing beautiful day that she came into the world so uh i've been a little emotional in my feels with her turning five and a baby coming and there's so many changes going on like kindergarten starts next year mila starts preschool um they're both in like dance they're both doing all kinds of uh big kid things it's been special but also just feels like this new stage of life that we're in so anyway she's been loving that yodel flair i bought it on sale before Christmas even and I knew I wanted to give it to her for her birthday and it was so hard to wait and not pull it out because we had it uh, tucked away for months and finally got to give it to her and she's been loving it. I highly recommend this little machine. It plays audiobooks, um, music, you can get all different cards, you can load stuff onto your own cards. It's just been so cool. So I'll link in the description box. Um, if you'd like to take a peek, but I highly recommend has been awesome for curbing off screen time as well because she's been Really into well both of them have been into listening to that They have like a lullaby one that we play every night helps them get to sleep It's been it's just been really really great with the girls now sharing a room. Of course that means sharing a closet Look at all those cute little girly clothes. So we've got Nova's side and Mila's side and then we have uh, just like a shared dresser here which has been interesting i have like pajamas at the bottom and i have like nova on one side meal on the other um and i have these like divider things but you can see there's stuff to the brim because these girls love their clothes and pretty soon they'll be sharing sizes because i think Mila's catching up to nova but i i turn this i want to switch i have a photo of both of them together that I'm gonna um, replace that one with but yeah this is their cute little room I think it is fun colorful and they have definitely been loving it so I wanted to also show you the baby's room I know the last video that I did that was like a little update you kind of saw a little sneak peek the girls are playing really nicely in the playroom so I'm gonna try to sneak over because if they see me filming they're gonna come running I think I was successful. I just don't want to wreck their play because they're doing an awesome job playing. So anyways, this is the baby's room. This was Mila's room before. Uh, it used to have like a half wall that was pink all around. So we um, neutralized that. It's all white now all around. And instead what we did is this feature wall on the side or, or on the main wall. And we did like a board and batten and it's like a sage green and it's turned out really cute. Caleb is does such a good job at these DIY stuff. I helped of course, but he definitely, yeah, he's so handy and I love, I love that he can do projects for us. So anyways, this is the wall. What's nice is we still had the crib set up from Mila cause she just transitioned from the crib into her big girl bed. We did that a few months ago. Um, 
it was <laughs> it was interesting. It was kind of hard at first, but we finally got the hang of it. Um, anyway, so we're keeping it pretty simple right now because, of course, we have this wall that we can decorate once we find out uh, baby's gender. And we're probably gonna do put up the bookshelves here and a few other things. But for the most part, we wanted to keep it fairly neutral so that we can just kind of add like the touches after baby's born because we are not finding out the gender and it is going to be a surprise and it's been difficult to wait i will admit because we found out with both girls so it's been like a different experience not being able to like nest the same in terms of like getting things ready or getting clothes ready or decorating or whatever but at the same time I'm more tired this time. I've got two little kids to run after, so I feel like it hasn't been as bad. Um, so what I have done though, is I've gotten some things out from the bins that we have of like stuff that the girls have had in the past. So I've got all of the like neutral stuff that will work for either. So I have all the newborn stuff here. I haven't washed it yet. Um, I'm gonna wait until a little closer to due date to do that but i have newborn in the top and then i have zero to three here i've only really bought like a couple little things not much because of course i don't know what we're having so these are all of our neutral stuff that we've used for the girls and so that will definitely tie me over for until i can do a little bit of shopping i have been doing pretty good um it has been kind of a rough month actually i have I think just with pregnancy, my immune system has been just shot. <laughs> and so I have caught every sickness and I just like keep catching new sicknesses. And I've been sick more than the girls are. And so it's been, it's been a little bit of a rough go. But I think it's officially spring here. The snow's starting to melt. Um, and once, usually once the weather gets better, sickness is kind of start to dissipate so i'm really hoping <laughs> that i can just have a little bit of time to enjoy these last couple months of pregnancy before the baby comes um to enjoy the pregnancy to enjoy uh the girls and like our family as as it is now before we go through all the big changes so hopefully fingers crossed i have no more colds and etc in my horizon but I mean, knock on wood, because I probably do. But a couple of updates about uh, the pregnancy about baby is, um, as you saw in the last update, we had kind of a lot going on in a short period of time worrying about baby's health, and then everything ended up being cleared, and we're just so grateful for that. So I feel like I've really been, you know, like getting myself more and more excited as the days have been going on, and, I'm so out of breath, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I ended up passing my glucose tolerance test, which I was really worried about because I was borderline with Mila and had to do all these dietary changes and it was just tricky because of summer and like us always going out for ice cream and stuff and me not being able to do that. Um, but I passed it, so yay for me. Very happy about that. Everything is just looking really good. Um, I feel just like, I feel like with the third pregnancy, everything like symptom wise or like growing wise i just feel like it's happening sooner if that makes sense like when i was 20 weeks i felt like i was 30 weeks <laughs> now that i'm about to be 29 weeks i feel like i'm like at least five weeks ahead of that <laughs> like in terms of like the aches and pains and just how the belly feels heavy already like all these things so it's been interesting to say the least but i know it's only temporary and Soon I will have a squishy little baby in my arms. I'm very, very excited. And I just am so excited to find out what we're having. It's, I think about it a lot of times in the day, but I feel good about staying strong to wait for the surprise. Um, I mean, I have no more ultrasounds or anything. I think it'll just be a really, really fun surprise. So anyways, those are like the main updates. There's not really too much that has changed for us um, in the last couple of months. But just my girls are growing. They are becoming just the sweetest, most, just, I don't know. I'm just so proud of them every day. Um, we have our hard moments, obviously. Many, 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 many hard moments. But they're just such great girls and they're playing really cute right now.
Okay, another little sneak down the stairs so I can come show you, turn down the music, um, so that I can show you um, the living room and a couple updates that we've made in here. Uh, one being that we finally got a new couch because our last one was just too small for the space. We did not fit on it for a movie night. It just was very, very uncomfortable. And so we upgraded to something a lot larger. <laughs> You know when you change something in your space and it takes you, you get kind of like shocked by it and it takes you a while to adjust. That was me with this couch, but I officially am adjusted and I do really like it. It's very comfortable and you know, our family is about to be five people and a dog. So uh, it was much needed. So this is the living room. So we just got this sectional. We got it from Ashley Home Furniture if you're curious, um, but it's so much deeper and uh, we all fit and can cuddle and have movie nights. It's been awesome. And then I did a little updating here. So I added some decor. Only took me, like I think we've lived in this house for like three and a half years, so it's taken a while. But I think it turned out really cute. I'll show you a close up more so. Been adding more plants, been trying to be a bit, bit better about plants, which I mean, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> added a couple little pictures on there and then over here I think turned out really cute so I have this picture that um, I photographed and then I used just kind of an app to make it like a like watercolor type painting like texture and I just printed it off and framed it so I think it's really cute and then this one actually came with the frame and I was like you know what I really like that we live near the mountains the Rocky Mountains and this is like a common view for us all the time so I just kind of kept it like that so that's um the living room updates I think it's finally coming along to be like our style have a little bit more color with some more like green and stuff and yeah it's a slow process like if you um or I still haven't totally decorated your house if it's taking you a while like just know this I'm in the same boat it's it's hard <laughs> it's hard to like pinpoint what is your style what you want to do I will note too I did tidy up um, earlier this morning I was doing a bit of cleaning so usually there are 8,000 toys around here there are dishes everywhere so if you're looking at this and thinking oh it looks kind of clean it's not usually it's not usually <laughs> and even now it's not actually clean because we always have some kind of something right there the counters are never clear it's just it is what it is anyways that's just a little house update so another thing with not finding out until birth has been that I well we Caleb and I have been having kind of a hard time oh hi pumpkin you want to say hi I knew you would What's no, you I want me? to hold it. Okay, first we'll let mommy finish talking and then you can have a turn holding it, okay? Okay. What's your name? Mila. Mila. What's your middle name? Mila. Elodie. Elodie. And how big are you? Big. You're getting so big. Are you going to be a big sister soon? Yeah. yeah, you are. I love you. <laughs> As I was trying to say, <laughs> she's going to take the camera. Uh, we've been having a hard time coming up with names, especially, I think we have a boy name, but girl names we've been having a hard time with. So, if you have suggestions, I, I guess for either it. boy or girl, you're I, holding it for me? Yeah. Thanks, honey. My little personal camera girl over there. If you have any name suggestions for me, for girl names that would go really well with Nova and Mila, and you know it doesn't have to be four letters it doesn't have to end with an a um but if you have suggestions let me know in the comments because i could really use your guys's help and then maybe um i will react to your guys's name suggestions in another video but yeah we're finding it so much trickier this time thinking of a girl name because we we have two girls already so we've already you know we've already used names that we love so if you have any suggestions let me know down below no work on the planet she got a present for her birthday? Yeah. Yeah? Did she have a party? Yeah. It was so fun, hey? What kind of party? A, a bluey party. Bluey party. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for watching um, this little update vlog. And I'll see you guys in the next video. 
Can you tell a joke? What's your name? What's your name? Mommy. Not this? Nose. Say, what am I holding? What are I holding? Nothing. Say, Mom knows nothing. Mom knows nothing. Mom knows nothing. What? Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. You're funny. I'm gonna do a funny little. Okay. But I want I want to do the mom knows nothing. Okay. But there's gonna be a surprise at the end. Okay. <laughs> mom, what's your name? Mom. And what is this? Nose. And what am I holding? Nothing. Dad knows nothing. <laughs> I called you dad at the end. <laughs> what a surprising twist. <laughs> what do you think the baby's going to be? A girl. You think a girl? What do you think, Mila? Say boy. Oh, I want that girl. Girl. You think a girl? Yeah, I'm going to say boy. You're going to say boy. What would you name the baby if it was a girl? Uh, Leah. Leah? Oh, that's cute. What a good suggestion. Do you have any ideas, Mila? What would we name the baby if it was a girl? Girl. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> we'll call it Ia or Mia. Girl. <laughs> Mila, you can call it Ia or Alina. Alina. Girl. Wow, you come up with some good names, honey. Girl. Girl. <laughs> we'll just name her girl. <laughs> <laughs> you like a real arm? Um,